Hey guys, today we're going to be comparing two very interesting flagship killers, the Poco X6 Pro versus the Honor 200, and we're going to be focusing mainly on their camera and on their CPU performance as well as gaming and some other stuff, so hit that like button down there guys and let's get right into this video. And what better place to taste these two devices' cameras than outside in nature? So we'll be switching between the photos and the videos between these two devices and as you can see here from this video sample there's a huge difference between how both of these phones process the video. Now which one is which? Well the left one is the Poco and the right one is the Honor and even when it comes to the photos here you can see that there is a big difference. Now I have included the photos and the videos primarily from the main lens of both of these devices but there is also some ultra wide shots and here and there I have also included some uh, zoom shots like for example 2 times, 25 times, 5 and 10 times. The primary lens of the Poco is 64 megapixels but the Honor 200 has a 50 megapixel main lens as well as a 50 megapixel telephoto that the Poco phone lacks and when it comes to the main lenses of both of these devices they can both record 4K at 30fps or Full HD at 60fps. I have kept it at 4K 30fps because of course it gives the most details in your videos. But when it comes to the photos, the Poco phone tends to overly brighten every single shot and also artificially enhance some colors while the owner here is trying to produce these natural looking shots and they give me the vibe of an iPhone or a Samsung. The Poco phone on the other hand tries to give this camera cinematic look by making the shots a little bit more blurry or natural and also giving this warmer tint to every single photo. I've seen that not only on the Poco phones but also on every Xiaomi phone. So it really depends on what you're looking for but in my opinion for this comparison the Honor 200 offers a lot more details in the shots and in the videos compared to the Poco and I've said this before but there is always this jittering happening on the Poco phone which I really really hate and if it wasn't there and the video was a little bit more stable then that would have been just perfect but when it comes to the photos like portraits and stuff like that I think that both of these phones perform exceptionally we do have a 50 megapixel front camera on the Honor and only 16 megapixel on the Poco but the megapixels are not the problem it's more like that the colors on the Poco phone are a lot more washed out compared to the Honor now that's entirely my own personal opinion, you might think something different and if you do, I would be really happy if you share it down in the comments with me. Now in my opinion, the clear winner is definitely the Honor 200 and I believe that it has the better details, the better colors and overall better stabilization compared to the Pocophone. And by the way guys, if you have found any value in this video so far, then I would really love it if you just hit that like button down below and subscribe to my channel as well. It helps me tremendously and I also read every single comment that you leave down there and I try to reply to each and every one of you. So thank you so much for sticking with me guys and let's proceed with this video. Okay, so here we have the front facing cameras of both of these devices. They are 1080p at 60fps. I have capped them at that because the Honor can do 4K 30 but the Poco cannot unfortunately. It's kind of weird in my opinion that all of the Poco devices and the Xiaomi devices are capped at 1080p. But uh, the quality, I think it's a lot better on the Honor. The details are a lot better on the Honor, but I kind of prefer the colors of the Poco. I've always been a fan of how Xiaomi is processing their photos and videos. The colors are just a little bit more vibrant in my opinion. But let me know what you guys think about this quality. I'm right out here in nature. It's literally the perfect lighting situation for both of these devices. Oh, one more thing I forgot to mention is that the Honor is quite a lot wider compared to the Poco. I think I shot way too many photos and videos for this comparison so I'm just gonna leave them here to run and if you'd like you can also skip to the next section of this video which is the performance.
Alright, so far so good. It appears that the camera of the Honor 200 is definitely a lot better than the Poco X6 Pro. But now it's time for us to compare the performance of these two devices. And when it comes to that guys, you have a Snapdragon 7 Gen 3 stuffed inside of the Honor 200 while the Poco X6 Pro has a MediaTek Dimensity 8300 Ultra. And boy oh boy is that making a big difference because the Poco X6 Pro is a lot faster than the Honor 200 and you can see by these benchmarks here that this is actually the case and both devices seem to be equally fast when it comes to daily use and when you're scrolling through your social media and stuff like that but when it comes to opening apps and specifically games and also the gaming part of that well the Poco X6 Pro totally crushes the Honor 200 here so for example, neither of them can play Genshin Impact or any other heavy, super heavy game on the highest settings. Now that is reserved for the flagship devices, of course, with their Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 or the MediaTek Dimensity 9300 Ultra. But when it comes to the mid-range devices like the Poco X6 Pro, you can comfortably play Genshin Impact, Zenless Zone Zero or whatever else game you would like that is super heavy and you can just crank down the settings a little bit to medium or something like that, you, you're gonna have a great experience, especially with that amazing gaming mode turned on and turned to performance. You're definitely gonna be able to squeeze some extra FPS, like you can take it all the way up to 50, 55 or even 60 FPS in some situations. But unfortunately, when it comes to the Honor 200, that's not possible. You can still play heavy games on this device, but unless you lower the, down the settings to the absolute lowest, then I'm afraid that you won't be able to have a nice experience but some games like PUBG, Asphalt and others would play just fine things like Mobile Legends, Call of Duty and of this sort should play perfectly fine on both of these devices and on the Honor 200 as well Now the performance of the Honor 200 is a little bit underwhelming considering that it's actually more expensive than the Poco X6 Pro but I guess you have to set your priorities straight and uh, figure out if you'd like to have a better camera system inside of your phone or better performance because apparently you cannot have them both at least not to the same extent that the Honor provides the camera and not to the same extent that the Poco X6 Pro provides the performance. And honestly, for most people, they would probably choose the better camera system compared to a few extra frames when it comes to heavy games. Now I've been a little bit of a fan when it comes to Poco phones and Xiaomi phones so I'm a little bit biased here but if I had to choose something to go for gaming I I'll definitely pick the X6 Pro but I honestly did not expect the Honor 200 to be that good when it comes to the camera department and it also has a super fast uh, charging speed of 100 watts so I don't think that you would need more when it comes to a phone. Yes, it's a little bit more expensive than the Poco, but overall I think that the price to performance ratio is quite nice and I'll definitely pick up the Honor 200 here. But hey, that's just my opinion. What do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments and if you'd like to see more comparisons, you can click right here. Thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day and week ahead from me. Bye bye.